Let's look at this 70s Ibanez banjo, incredible instrument. If you like these videos, go ahead and uh, click on subscribe and you'll get some more. Well, let's hear what it sounds like. things we'll look at the uh, the pot and let, let me talk about this this is in the 70s and they copied the Gibson banjos of the 70s exactly and actually did a better job the fits better they sound better uh, and they're even have more uh, decoration on them and, and what that has to do with the binding but let's talk about this so uh, if you look at the pot uh, you'll notice, you, well, you don't notice on the video, but it's chrome plated and chrome is much more durable. And they even have the Gibson armrest, which I'm going to turn around here. See how it has two feet? Okay. And they copied the, uh, the tailpiece, and you'll see that it says Ibanez on it. Okay. Okay. So the Ibanez um, banjos were incredible. Now, uh, it has a uh, wreath pattern as uh, was in the, uh, in the Gibson in the 70s. You'll notice that it's a little thicker than the normal wreath of today, okay? And then you go up the headstock and, and uh, or up the fingerboard, up the headstock. You see it's beautiful. And you have the Ibanez name as well, okay? So the, uh, let me see if this banjo's been... Uh, Okay, so this banjo has not been played a whole lot. There are a few little divots in it, but it's pretty, pretty incredible. The other thing that they did is the RB800 Gibson was a step above the RB250. And uh, so what they did, you can see in the neck and even the resonator, you can see there's underneath the binding, there's some wood marquetry, which was common in the Gibson uh, banjos. Now, the Japanese were copying everything, and they were doing an unbelievably good job, and they kept getting sued. Now, I don't know that they ever got sued over the banjos, but they were so good, they were actually better than what was being produced in the United States. So, that's the, the I mean, the, the, the banjo is kind of surprising, like, how good it sounds, like, and how, how good the workmanship is. Then, uh, of course, we have the resonator and little things. I mean, they actually refin they finished the resonator inside, which, of course, Gibson never did for whatever reasons. I don't know. And look at the, uh, the quality of the resonator. It's just unbelievable. 
mahogany. All right. Uh, and then we have the uh, Gibson type shell, which in the 70s was a multiply shell, multiply. And something that's really fascinating about instruments is when you get 30, 40, 50 years old on an instrument, the first of all, it becomes very solid. It's not going to move. You're not going to have problems with it. But it develops a, an old sound, a better sound, a sound that cannot be uh, obtained in a new instrument. It comes from uh, having sit around, it dries out, people play it, vibrations go through it. And so this is just an extraordinary banjo. And if I'm not mistaken, it even has the original case, right? Uh, yes, it does. It has everything, original case. And somebody, they, they did a pretty good job of uh, filling them, but uh, the uh, fifth string capos were real popular there. So you'll have, you'll have these little mini, mini holes, which you hardly notice, but the only reason we tell you that is just so when you get the instrument in your house, when, you get, when it arrives, that you know exactly what to expect. This also is a great conversation piece. If you go to a uh, jam session, not only is it going to sound incredible, so people are going to remark, what is that? You know, and you say, well, this is a vintage Ibanez banjo, uh, much better than what's being made uh, overseas today. That's it. So if you want to see a bunch of banjos, want to see this banjo, just come and visit us at Banjo Warehouse. Uh, we're can see you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You do have to call us, and I'll make sure that you uh, know to call us a day in advance. We can be there, uh, but sometimes we're out looking for banjos, so uh, we'll postpone our banjo hunt if we think you're going to be there. Uh, this represents, you can look around here, there's about 10% of our inventory or less. Uh, so you can play about every conceivable banjo, everything's set up, and as I say, we spend about four or sometimes more hours cleaning the banjo, setting it up, making sure everything's perfect, and if there's a problem with it, I mean, if it's messed up, we just won't sell it, you know, to you. I mean, that's just the end of that. Or if it needs a little more than what we can offer, we actually take it to uh, a, the best banjo builder in the country, and he helps us out, and I won't even mention his name because he might be bothered, you know, and was, you just go to him with all your problems. But basically, uh, if there's anything that needs to be corrected on the banjo, we just take it over there and he helps us out. That's it. So uh, you guys have a great day. And I, I don't know if I mentioned to, to call Andy at 404-372-5482. If you have questions, and of course you can go to Banjo Warehouse to see more pictures. We'll talk to you later.